Welcome to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. It's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to measure the large gold crown for Zenogre. Now remember to hit that like button as it shows your support. All right, so the first thing you want to do is grab some red pits so that we can redirect the monster anywhere we want it to go. This is going to be the same as using these shock traps, but we'll be able to get some more measurements by doing so. All right, so running up to the left leg, you can see that the fur is above my head. If this was a mini, you will be above the fur. So you can see right now that we are in the large reins. So this is definitely worth taking our time, getting some extra measurements and possibly defeating this monster. So working on the right leg, you can still see that the fur is above my head and you can actually see that one spike to the right, kind of like a little bit above my head. Because of the fur on the leg, it's hard to get a perfect look. So that's why we're gonna use the red pits. Direct it is where we want it to go. And then we're gonna also use some shock traps too. So this is the right leg. And then you can see the spike right there above my head. This is at the back of the leg. And I wanted to show you another look at it. And then there's that spike right there above my head. That's probably one little indication that you want to use. And then here's a nice little side view of it. But you can easily tell that the fur will always be above your head. And then look at the knee right there. You can see one, two, three, four tan spikes that are coming out of the knee. We're going to use that as a reference too. In this pic, we're looking at the left leg and you can see that the fur is basically above my head. Again, with the mini, you will be above that fur. And with the large, you want that fur to be above your head. Here's another look. And you can see the fur easily is above my head. And that spike to the right of my head. Now we're going to look at the knee. So we got one, two, three, four spikes that are tan coming out of the knee. And you can see that I'm actually covering the bottom one, right? So you should only be able to see three of them. We'll get another look at it again one more time. All right, so here you go. You see the four spikes coming out of the knee and I can easily cover the bottom one and the three should be above my head. That's a good indication right there for the large gold crown. Now we're on the left leg and we're still getting the same thing, the one, two, three, four spikes, and you're covering the bottom one. So going for the large gold crown, a couple things to note. You want the fur to basically be above your head, and at that knee, there's four tan spikes that are coming out of the knee. You wanna cover the bottom one, and the three should be above your head. If it is so, then it's worth taking the extra time, getting some measurements, and possibly defeating the monster. All right, so I have this weird theory about the turf wars. Let's just say that the damage value is set at a certain percentage every single time. Now with a mini gold crown, I always feel like the health value is always lower and with the large gold crown, the health value is higher. So for example, if the turf war is always damaging 2000 every single time that you see it, and it's a normal size monster, but all of a sudden its damage value is 1500 and the monster is definitely smaller than normal. So if the damage value is on the lower side, then this could be another indication of how to measure the gold crown. Again, this is just a theory and it would need a little bit more studying. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and I will see you next time.